just way back behind me, you can hear the howling monkeys. If you be really quiet, you can hear them screaming. The guides say it's pretty rare to see a, a monkey, but you can hear them. <laughs> I can hear them way from over there. <laughs> wow, it's so cool. Those howlers are so loud. End of hiking day one, and this is the swimming spot for Jonas. All right, so it's 6 a.m. day two. We're taking off now for the second day of hiking. Today's gonna be a longer day, like eight hours. Should be nice though, let's go. So here is last night's camp. We stayed somewhere in the beds over there. All right, guys, this is our guide, Sergio. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, where Welcome are you? Welcome to the tropical forest, everybody. Trip. Our goal today is uh, go to the river, uh, meet the indigenous cu cultures, Oh, we're going to indigenous trap today. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. And eat fruit as monkeys. <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> so why are these fields green over here? Nothing on them. In the past, the fields that you see without trees, they were plantations of coca trees for the production of cocaine. Ah, I see. So now in this forest, there's not much production of coca leaves anymore? No, this, no, not in this forest, not in this mountain. And the thing is that the process of recovery, it takes some years right. because they use some poison to finish the plantations yeah. and the Chemi the chemicals are still in the ground. Hola. ¿Qué es tu nombre? Saviel. Ah, oh, Saviel. Go. ¿Qué nombre? Marco. Marco. ¿Qué? Sergio. ¿Tú cuál es? Mike. 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 Sergio. ¿Qué Marco? Marco, sí. Hola. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Muy fuerte. Wow! They are the Kogi tribe. They are the king of the Tirona people. Okay. They were the original settlers of this land? Yeah. So this fruit here is called a lulu. Looks kind of like guava, no? Mm. Yes. Sour kiwi. Oh, it's good. Okay, day three. Today we're actually gonna hit the Lost City. We're just leaving our camp now. And it's one hour hike to the Lost City where we will, well the sun, sun's already risen, but we're gonna get the early morning hours at the Lost City. And then spend the rest of the day hiking back halfway to a camp and then continue the rest tomorrow. But yeah, we get to see the, the Lost City day three. taking our last 
few steps up now. Finally made it to the lost city, Ciudad Perdida. Big snake skin. Right behind me is a replicate of what the buildings would have looked like back when they had the city here. It's crazy, we've been here for almost an hour and we still actually haven't seen the main part of the city. It's much bigger than what you think when you just look at the pictures of this place. Pretty cool, you can kind of walk all amongst the whole city. We are making something called payment because the people from the mountain, they say that we used to take and receive a lot of benefits from the earth, from the mother earth, but uh, we are not giving anything back. So we have to feed with our bad energies or bad vibrations and we can enter into the place and have a good experience. And let's put the seed in the tree. This is the way we say thank you for all the things that we receive from the planet. Yeah. So, how old do archaeologists say this place is? This place started to be built about six or 700 AD. But the latest research shows that under the, the place there is like vestiges of an even older place. Paint this color, look at the color. It's called Nola. Nola, and that comes from this tree? Mm -hmm. The tree is also called Nola. Nola means orange in Kogi dialect. Oh, so there we go, we have the orange kind of like sap. Maybe he's giving himself a tattoo. So hopefully when you guys do this trek, you have a cool guide like Sergio who shows you the Lola tree and you can give yourself orange tattoos. Right on his neck. Mike's finished his tattoo. Oh! Ding ding! 100% natural. Are you proud of your work? Very proud, very proud. That's good. It's pretty crazy that way out here in the middle of the jungle, we have this lost city that we just trekked three days to get to. And you can tell by the aerial shot that it truly is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Natural ceiling. Just like that, typical of tropical and like jungle areas. The rain is done. No more rain! No more rain. Where are you going? Bye. Alright, we just finished the end of day three. Now we're back at the camp. And we're gonna grab some dinner and then call it a night. And then tomorrow's our last day. We're gonna head straight out back to Santa Marta. Oh, <laughs> 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 come la cámara. 
So the babies of the Wawu indigenous tribe, the mothers carry the babies on their head it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So these little plants are called like cow udders and they're super poisonous. Hey Mikey, I can't tell, am I sweating? On the poco, poquito, poquito. <laughs> Sergio, wow, guys. it's time. Come back. Thank you so Keep much for touch. everything, Keep my man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And guys. if you can, guys, request Sergio. I'll hopefully be here waiting for yes, you. Yes, hopefully you request Sergio because he's the man. You deserve Take it. care, buddy. So I have your contact info. Yeah, you gotta Hi, share pal. some pictures and keep in touch. Yeah, yeah definitely. And good luck in Madrid when you study Thank anthropology. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers, pal. Thank All you. the best. All right, so I just finished the four day Lost City Trek. If you are considering this trek, it's not actually that hard. It's one of the easiest multi-day treks I've done. For example, we were trekking with a couple who was 62 and 57, semi-retired couple, and they were, they were in great shape for their age, but not like in super shape, not like they trained really hard to do this. And they were ahead of us the entire time. So it's sort of for many fitness levels, and it's, you don't have to train for it or anything. It's really relaxing, really easy. You stop every hour and a half to two hours for fruit snacks or food. So mm. it's, it's quite nice. It's very enjoyable. You only have to carry a little tiny pack because all the beds and everything is ready for you when you arrive at the camps. Speaking of the camps, the bedding and the food, it's all really nice, really well taken care of. So it's just a really enjoyable time all around. If you have any further questions, feel free to shoot me a question in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them all. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. You just found a, a spider <laughs> this big. This big. He's trying over here, okay? I don't touch Ready? Oh, yo. There's, there's, there's my hand. Oh, yo. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, no, don't we'll do, do that, that mate.